Welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name's Bob and in this series of videos we're going to be looking at SAP HANA Cloud Integration for Data Services. In this video we're going to cover installing the agent, the Data Services agent. So the assumption is, is that you've already activated your HCIDS account. Obviously you'll receive an email from SAP with your activation details. It will link you to a screen which looks like this, and then you will need to log on to the organization which you've been allocated. So I'm going to log on to my organization name, which for me was demo underscore HCP. When I click on OK and log in, we'll get access to our HCI um, HANA Cloud Integration Data Services. Of course, it's all set up with your SCN ID. So we're going to look at these various tabs in other videos. For us to actually get the agent, all we need to do is go to the agents tab here on the far right hand side. There's a link to where you can download that agent. So when I select download agent package, I'll be linked into my service marketplace account. And then I've got the option to download either the 64 bit for Windows or the 64 bit for Linux. So of course I'm going to, for me, I'm going to install this on a Windows server. So I'm going to select the 64 bit for Windows. I'm going to download this executive and put it on my desktop. So of course I'll add it to my download basket. And then what I'll do is I will download this to my desktop. So of course you've got two different versions, one for Linux, one for Windows. I'm going to install a version on my Windows box and this Windows box is being created with AWS and it's available on the um, World Wide Web. So the install is very simple. I'll start the install on this box. Again, as we discussed in the previous video, it's going to install a server or a job server on this Windows box, which will then ultimately connect to your HCI account. It takes a few seconds to extract the files, and then we can start the installation. So obviously you can choose where you want to install. Uh, we need certain administrative privileges on this box, so I'm going to use the administrator that I've logged into this box as, so I'll just log in with those details. By clicking on this icon, specify port numbers used by the agent, we can see that we're using four ports. Now these ports are only used for inter-process communication. And on this Windows box, there would be no need to open any ports because for the agent to function, we only need to have the HTTPS port opened for outbound traffic. So this is the reason we created this architecture by using this agent because this means that we don't need any VPN, we don't need a reverse proxy, we don't need any firewall exceptions needed. We only need the HTTPS outbound port opened, just like you would on a browser. So once you've set these defaults, then you can click on install. So you can see that it's in configuring the environment, it's installing some certificates, it's configuring an internal database, and lastly, it's up updating and starting that agent. So there we can see that the install's finished. So I can select finish, and now I come to configuring my SAP Data Services agent. So it takes a few seconds to configure. So essentially what we have to do now is configure the connectivity to our SAP HANA cloud integration. So we need both the administrator username and the administrator password, which will normally be your SCN ID of your HCP account. And this administrator name needs to be the email address for that SCN account. Additionally, the user also needs to have the administration role enabled within HCI. And you can actually check this in HCI DS by looking at the administration tab and seeing the roles allocated to your user. Then we need to imp import this agent configuration file, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to put in my administrator username and my password. So where do we get this agent configuration file from? Well, we get this from our HCIDS um, page itself. So if I Alt-Tab 
and go back to my HCIDS, we've got this option on the top right hand side of new agent. So I'm going to select new agent. I'm going to call this one um, Bob's agent. And you can, you can allocate these agents because you might have multiple agents um, to different groups. I'm going to allocate this to a new group. It's a brand new system. I'm going to call this one um, Bob's group. And then I'll click on next. So then what will happen, of course, you've got the option to download the um, package again, but we've already done that. So we need to just do step two, which is download the configuration file. So if I select this option, you'll see that the file gets downloaded. So all I need to do is open up this file and save it on the machine where, I, where my remote desktop is. It's just a normal text file. So to do this, I'm going to open up that configuration file. Control C. I'm going to go back to my uh, remote desktop and I'm going to create myself a new file with Notepad. And then I'm going to save this um, on my um, desktop. I'm going to call this my HCI underscore DS agent dot TXT file. So now that we've got that file, all we need to do is link to that file and select upload. It'll restart the agent. Now, just to show you what happens at the moment, if I go back to my browser, click OK and save and close, you can see here that the agent isn't started. This is indicated by the red travel triangle. In fact, it's never been started. So of course, just even if I refresh, it's still not started. So of course, by selecting yes, what will happen is that the data services agent will restart. I should get a message that indicates it started OK after I select exit. Here we can see that the SAP data services agent service must be restarted for these configuration changes to take effect. So I'll select yes. It started the agent successfully. So now if I go back to my browser and refresh, we should see that the agent has successfully started. It takes a few seconds. And there we can see that the status of the agent is green and we've got the version which is on my Windows machine, the repository version, and when we last connected to the agent. So that's the first step. The first step is to make sure that this agent is started on your Windows or Linux client, wherever your databases are. So I'm going to put um, all my files and databases that I'm connecting to in these demo videos on that singular Windows machine. But of course, these agents could be distributed on many, many different machines. So now that you've got the SAP Data Services agent installed and connected to your HEI DS system, what we're going to do in the next few videos is connect to a variety of data sources and then load that data into a schema that we've created within our SAP HANA Cloud platform using data services within the SAP HANA Cloud integration platform.